What has Peter be done to deserve all this? What has Peter be done to deserve all this wickedness from the APC government? What has Peter be done to deserve all this wickedness from Bola Ahmed Tinubu? Well, Tinubu will not go scot free for tempering with a man whom God has blessed and tempering with a man who the people love. Whether he likes it or not, Peter B will be safe and nothing will happen to him. Well, in this video, I'll be showing you how three lawyers defended Peter B and also review the plans that Bolatinibu is having and nothing against Peter B. Step it and watch this video and listen for yourself. It is clear from the provisions of the Constitution. Session, if you check sessions 132 to 134, that the winner of the presidential election must not only win plurality of the votes, that is the most number of votes, he must also win 25% in each of at least two thirds of the Nigerian states and the federal capital territory. What does that mean? You must get 25% in 24 states and the federal capital territory. Ashiwaji Bola Ahmed Tinubu did not score 25% in FCT. Well, I do not know, but even if he scored in 24 without scoring 25% in FCT, he could not and he should not have been declared president elect as Enek wrongly did. So all these are matters that, that must and will be challenged at the tribunal. I feel David, I was signed by Piers Wanko. Would you like to give us the reasons why on camera and the configuration? Configuration of, uh, well, you see the primarily uh, Labour Party and uh, PDV, they are seeking for evidence to file election petition. They have not yet filed any election petition. They're just looking for evidence. But we believe they have more than sufficient evidence to file election petition. Why? Because they have representation in all the polling units during the presidential election. And we all know that the foundation of any election is the results of the polling unit. Uh, we deployed. Um, so what, what are the issues in this proceedings that have just been adjourned to uh, tomorrow? Okay, um, actually, uh, a few days back, the Honorable Court granted uh, Atiku Abubakar and PDP uh, the indulgence uh, to inspect uh, the Beavers machine content and every other material that uh, was used for the election. The, the presidential election. And uh, shortly after that was granted, INEC felt there was a need to vary that order. And they now brought the application that uh, the court dealt with now. Um, they are seeking uh, to get the court to order that the Beavers machine, which was used in conducting the election, that our scrutiny will not go to it. And indeed, that for them to conduct the election of Saturday, that they need tomorrow and next to uh, flush off the uh, data in the Beavers machine so that they can use it for the election coming up uh, on Saturday. And there you see the trick. Uh, Atiku Abubakar says he won the election. Atiku Abubakar and PDP, they say that if you reconcile the result sheets that they have from emanating from the polling units, if you reconcile it with the content of the Beavers machine, that it will be very obvious that you won the election. Now, INEC that conducted that election and refused to upload it on the day of election, has said that the only primary source of Atiku's uh, inquisition, that it should be flushed out so that they will reconfigure the machines for the election on Saturday. So you can now begin to see where the game is going to. And we're saying no, that should not be done. And we want to 
tell this court, we want to demonstrate it to this honorable court tomorrow. We've been told to come back tomorrow that what the application INEC is um, the application INEC has brought to this honorable court seeks to destroy the rest, to destroy the evidence with which uh, Tipu Abubakar and the PDP will prove their petition. And that is where we are. And you also, also ask yourself, is INEC waking up today to know that they need the diverse machine flushed in their language so that they will reconfigure it? Were they not aware of this when they planned the timetable and said the governorship and the House of Assembly election will take place two weeks after the presidential election? What was on their mind when they uh, configured that, uh, uh, that uh, timetable? Did they not know that they will need a clean beavers? Do they not know that whoever feels aggrieved in the presidential election and uh, national assembly elections will find recourse to the data in the beavers machine? That is where we find ourselves. And we're saying no, that that should not be. But it is not for the court after taking the application tomorrow to rule whether the INEC application has merit and is in good faith. Or well, the lawyers have said it all. At this point in time, I'll allow you guys to tell me what you feel about this video in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, and most importantly, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below so you won't miss any trending updates. See you in my next video. Bye.